But hello, hello everybody. We are going to continue our assassin. Well, yeah, we haven't gotten our robes yet, have we? We just got our... For a moment, I was just like, wait, did I fuck up? Did I somehow place us in the wrong places? But no, we just uh, haven't gotten our stuff yet. It's been a little bit since I streamed because brain and all the evils that they're then in tiles. But uh, last time we... ba 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 mostly finished off Connor's life within the world of, uh, well, the life that he knew. His mother died in a fire set by his father's cronies, though that's probably more incidental than intentional, but at the same time, we, like, immediately went in and saw that, like... Connor's dad is still working for him. He caused the Boston Massacre. It's a whole thing. And I uh, slightly cringed and chuckled at the game justifying the fact that we need a Native American protagonist who's just white enough to pass the racist colony days. Uh, I have no idea of, like, uh, what goes on with, like, Lance's wood shop and Terry and Goodfrey's lumber mill... And, like, how all these guys, like, will be crafting things. I don't know how that will work. I tried to go up to them. They didn't do anything. More than likely, they'll just probably actually explain it later. Much how, like, when we played as Connor's dad, they didn't have the, like, crime system activated just yet. And, uh, funnily, before I started uh, streaming... I had to update both my Ubisoft, like, launcher as well as the Assassin's Creed 3 remastered game itself because of Ubisoft Connect, I think it is. I don't even know what it is. All I know is, like, I don't know, once a month it updates, like, half my Assassin's Creed games by 200 megabytes. It <laughs> just... Why? We have to authenticate the possibility of you. Oh. Maybe I should go kill a moose. Ah, darn. There's no... I can reflex shot. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to aim at his head. I can get more uh, elsewhere. I need to do more, like, hunting. I don't know when the hunting will be important. All I know is hunting exists in this game. I just need to remember, like, all of the things. I forget, like, how to... That's the button. I knew it was one of those. Like, uh, they just keep moving things around. Back in my day, the Y button was for Eagle Vision. But one of these days, I'll, we'll probably just have to have a dedicated let's go out and hunt a lot segments just to get all the optional stuff we'll need to... <laughs> was, was that the man spawning in? Just teleported in from somewhere, stretching like the Elastic Man to get into his sitting position to wait for me. Was that what that was? Is that a box? There's a box here. So you... You're the guy who I'm apparently collecting collectibles for, huh? my hand shaking a little I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Uh, hello. Can I talk to you? Apparently not. Unless you get activated when I go up there. Or maybe you're just here to justify the peg leg collectibles, maybe. I don't know. Farewell, peg leg.
What do you require of me, dear friend? Go away! Faulkner, who are you? And will you make music for Dragon Ball Z back in the early days? Go away, boy! You not speak the king's English? <laughs> no, I don't. I speak the colony's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Comet. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. So who are you? Does he actually own the manor? Or is he like She's a dude? The fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, ah, so. Some attention. Minor things mostly, but with a little affection. <laughs> That's, that, you need to scuttle that ship. It's dead. I'm sorry, guy. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy. The ghost of the North Seas. The boat. Well, it is a ghost because it's dead. She's a ship boy and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Well, it is the Come middle of winter. Meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it required repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she. And yes, I can refit her, but I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. And how do I get I timber? See to that. How long before it she is able to sail again? Have to learn Just the sailor's etiquette. Lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. <laughs> so now I'm gonna run back to the wood people and be like I need wood. Is Pegleg going to be part of the crew? And Pegleg is gone. <laughs> is Pegleg just like Assassin's Creed 3's Mike the Liar, for lack of a better term, just a random NPC that crops up? Saying weird things. I still have the urge to hold the A button while I run. And while we run, apparently another thing that was added uh, to Steam, Steam apparently updated, with a neat little thing that tells you, like, hey, this game does have the ability to use controllers, but maybe not that controller. It might give you the wrong symbols for your controller or other such things, which I find interesting. Reach Achilles. Uh, there you are. How'd you get here faster than me? I've something to show you. Come, take a look. It's a book. What is it? It's a book. Ledger. It lets us manage. So it's basically Ledger. like, will this be like Montagioni back in Assassin's Creed Two? Uh, that was years ago, before the slow fever, before the Templars. Before everything collapsed. Overall, this building's still good. That's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. I'll teach you how to beat Templars over the head with it. Stockpiles. Stockpile allow you to purchase items from the homesteads and display items you currently own. Alright, click A to enter the stockpile. Godfrey and Terry, the Lumberjacks, have oak lumber available for purchase. Alright. Use to set the amount you want, or just set maximum. How much money do I have? Well, apparently, it's just going to force me. I wanted to see how much money I had overall to see what changed, but oh well. Uh, sure. Ah, cost, 24. That's my money. Good, good. Alright then. Nom. The stockpile now contains oak lumber, but the lumberjacks are out of stock, but should produce more periodically. Oh boy. 14% of Connor exclamation point. Select the trading menu. The oak logs can be sold to merchants through convoys. Select your available convoy. Assign... An item must be assigned to the convoy. Let's see, travel time, risk, tax. We need to kill the British. 
oak lumber is available for trade. Increase or decrease? Ah, that's what it is. It, I bought the lumber, and now we're going to sell the lumber, but don't we need lumber for... For, for the ship man. Okay, game's forcing me. Each merchant and location has its advantages and disadvantages regarding time, risk, tax, and value of the product. Choose wisely. Select to choose a bubble if you're not giving me a choice. And items are placed in selected slots ready to be sent. Send convoy. Congratulations, you just sent your first convoy. You can monitor its progress in the ledger. So we're going to make a... That felt like I didn't even really do much. Also, why is there like a time wasty thing like that? Where they're like, ah, to sell, you just need to wait a lot. Apparently, you've got full synchronization. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. We didn't even really get to do much there, did we? Time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars, about Charles Lee and my father. We got 30 pounds. To confront them, to put an end to their schemes, to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. Yep. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. You couldn't even show us like a montage? Skills and knowledge grew. So too did I. Wait, months became years. It just said a few months later. Like, in the thing. It's like months became years. I don't believe you. Well, let's see what's more in the ledger. So, let's see. Now that an artisan has settled on the homestead, the crafting section has been added. And now, once again, we don't get to explore on our own. We're going to get railroaded. P craft barrels. You can craft two barrels because you have two oakwood lumbers. Can I just make one? Recipes can be collected throughout the world. Each time you find a recipe, it will be added to the recipe viewer. And then it went away. There's nothing else to make. We can only make barrels. Let's see. Trading. We can get charcoal. One charcoal. I'll buy charcoal. Oak bark. We'll just buy things. Because we can. Put it into the thing. Purchase available resources from your local homestead artisan. Some resources... Will not be available until you level up your artisans by doing homestead missions. You can also view crafted stuff. We have apples. Barley. Oh, that's all the stuff that I have. Oh no, it's still traveling. It'll take ten minutes for it to do it. So basically, this is a worse... Montagioni. So we could make the hanger sword if we had, con like, oh, what? Okay. Ah, so this is like inventions. No, nope. special items. That's what it is. Special items. The, the UI is hard to read for my puny little brain. We can increase land capacity convoy of at some point. Or maybe we need to make all of them, like we make land convoy, which will go to com capacity upgrade, which will go to hangar sword. Maybe. Materials, spirits. We don't have Oliver. We don't have Ellen to make quilts or wigs. We don't have Oliver to make jugged hair. Oh, we can get medicine. Or well, cold medicine. Sure, little. But then again, cold medicine back in this day would be like <laughs> cocaine, so we'd probably be able to make something of it. But okie doke, very interesting. Um, sure, land convoy, I guess. 
Unless that was selling. I don't know. Well, I have two in inventory now, so I think I did good. Well, sure. Just seems a bit weird and wonky. I miss Montagione. We'll quickly leave the building and see if there's, like, anything else in the immediate area. There is a interactive conversation, but the last time I did one of those, Benjamin Franklin went off on how to fuck women. And it was very weird. Like, I just went back because it was just like, hey, you can talk to Benjamin Franklin. I'm like, oh, hey, neat. And then he was a weird Redditor about it. It was a very weird experience. Benjamin Franklin is a weird man. Land convoy. Yes, I am back after fighting my brain for 40 days and 40 nights. Why is the woodsman fishing? What did he say? Did he say it's like we should get a bowl, Connor? Even I could barely hear that. Why was he so quiet? We shall see this interactive conversation and hope it's not as weird as Benjamin Franklin was. You must be Connor. Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. And this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. I was wondering who the woman was. So Technically, we already met. I ran up on you. I was like, wait, why is this a person living here? Face to the, name? the pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river with nobody upstream. I won't lie. Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled... I must say I'm rather happy. Good for you. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. Doesn't sound but nice. To be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. Well, if you're that, then go tell him to stop fishing. He's a woodsman. New trophy unlocked at the manor because I talked to some women. Hello. Good day, Connor. Good day, Connor. Oh, wrong thing. I'm wrong all the things. Yep, they're just people. Woodshop people, people. Yep, then we shall go go see the harbor master, see the boat that was like I have no idea how you even repair a boat like that. It was dead in the water. It was literally a ghost because it was dead. And then it's just like, oh yes, I just need some lumber and I'll get the crew together. It's just like, no, I don't believe you. I believe you are full of lies. But we shall run across the peninsula, go to the harbor master, and see where the game wants me to doth go next. Perhaps we will go... Well, obviously we're not going to go after the Templars immediately. Again, I still can't really get over the fact that they're like, Ah, oh, yes, we're going to present these guys as upstanding people. They're very good. Immediately after we reveal their Templars, and then they burn down the protagonist's home, killing his mother. It's just like, complete 180 of character. They are, these are some fine chaps. They're doing good things, commits the Boston Massacre. Like, with a grin of a supervillain to match. Utter craziness. Not only the boat, he made a whole frickin', like, dock. And buildings to match. How much lumber did we give you? 
I think we gave him too much lumber. Well, the hard way. Launch! Sail to Martha's Vineyard to equip the Aquila with cannon. Officers must also be hired to command the new guns. Would you like to take this naval mission? Sure! The game is telling me to. Do I have a choice? I'm sure that he's seen the... Not the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. We have to put that superstition in the world. That left-handed people are evil. She is solid. She is a ship. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale. Near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do firsthand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to come. Did somebody fall overboard? <laughs> there was a big away. splash. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout. There was it again. <laughs> like it's not an in cutscene oh, splash. Man, it and there was somebody who was floating in the background. Come on, men. Let's and something popped into existence there. And now we've popped out of existence. Now let's see, I don't think I've heard much about this game's naval stuff. I know Black Flag is praised for it. I am going through... <laughs> there was like something mesh there. And I just came up through like a ghost. All right, take the wheel. Come on, come on, she won't bite. But I will immediately crash the ship. You're connected to her now. Listen and feel. All right, do not take any damage before you reach Martha's Vineyard. Um. I don't know which way to go. Tell me where to go, man. I don't know how to control. I fear that big old ship out front. I feel like it... Fine, if he bothers. What are those freaking wings? I guess that's part of the full sail. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Interesting. <laughs> Go full mast immediately punishes you. You can watch the people on the deck just kind of flounder around with the wa <laughs> the wind going crazy. The wind sure changes quickly. Now, take us through these shallows. Yeah, there's a ship in front of us. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Yeah, I'm not going full sail, because there's somebody in front of us. Can't quite see much. Trying to get away from those rocks. That ship made a big old sudden turn. Mind those other vessels. That's what I'm trying to do! To keep your right of way. Honestly, didn't hear what he said about right of way. I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully, I'm not coming up on anyone. It's just the one guy doing a turn. Seems decent when the wind isn't trying to kill you. 
I'll be very sad if I take sudden damage before we get to Martha's Vineyard. Sudden wind, let's, yeah, die down a bit. Should be able to maybe, there we go. The wind just keeps suddenly changing slightly. Might very well kill me one of these days. But as we sail along, follow slowly these big old boys. We're close. Guess I will say that I few weeks back watched the FNAF movie. I'll say myself, I quite enjoyed it. It was a fun old time. It's hard to judge, like, how good it is objectively as a story, since I am a fan of the franchise, so it's hard to be like, ah, oh, yes, this is for any audience, when it very well is likely possible that Interesting. There we go. I thought it would take us longer to get there because of the wind. But yeah. It's hard to judge the movie objectively since I am a fan. And I decently like the story presented. But it's hard to say if it would if the story itself would connect with non-FNAF fans as easily. How confusing it could possibly be. What's wrong with her eyes? Her eyes seem wrong. Like they're going to bug out and eat me. Like there's a darkness behind those eyes. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell's you been? Getting drunk in a shack? Sorry for leaving like I did, lad, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Then sail on with me. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns. And Connor is just like walking away. About to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? <laughs> Why are you just suddenly asking that? What? I dude. Much care for what What's just this like walk up to random dude? Where is Charles Lee? Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> Why did he suddenly do that? That's just random, sudden, and odd. Where is Charles Lee? <laughs> and that's obviously going to be our tutorial for shooting the guns, because we pissed off Random Man. And that there cannon was sliding through the wood. Back to the wheel I go. Let's go kill some people at sea, I guess. It's just crash ships nobody's cared to deal with. What the bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. <laughs> well, <laughs> we have to go kill them. Oh, we're just gonna go shoot We've these dead ships then. Of guns to start, but rest assured, there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. So if I want to go on super murder sprees, I could just buy all of them. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. So. Fire! 
Oh, that's brilliant. Well done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Ah, I need to turn and then hold the trigger. That's how it goes. Oh, that's brilliant. Some old powder in there. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Again, somebody just left powder in the ship. All right, so... Uh... Ah. Amazing. This actually seems like it might be nice. Random violence. Well, it goes along with murder. Return to the homestead. And see if we get into combat with that uh, Sales for the Crown Templar, maybe. Successfully so, brace when attacked and use a civil gun. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick. What do we do? Not else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivels on him, Captain. That's what I'm trying. Ah, that's how it works. Let me check my thing again. It says successfully brace when attack. I don't know how to do that. Hopefully the game teaches me. We killed some Brits. English I think I'm leaving the area and it was freaking out. have to brace successfully two more times and I don't think I did. Oh, that, oh yeah. I have to save my men from death. Take cover! I don't think I'll be able to get any shots off. <laughs> Every single time it happens. It's like we duck the entire ship. Jesus! I think I'm taking too much damage. It's hard to tell because it's not giving me any feedback. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a bad thing about the ship combat. It's like, oh, take cover. What's the point of taking cover? It didn't even seem to do anything except make it so I can't fight back. I'll be betwattled, another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? That's just what it felt like. Yeah, the, the when fighting actual dangerous enemies, it feels very weird. I think maybe I can like
Unless I accidentally kill them. I don't think so. Like, I don't know. They're thinking, now they're far away and they're not attacking me so I can't get my bonus. Again, it would be kind of nice if there was some... Um, like, feedback to taking damage. When, in reality, it's just like a small bar... Yeah, you, there's no feedback to taking damage, is what it feels like. And honestly, it feels like there's more feedback when you don't take cover. Then again, it also feels like I got into a weird loop where I was so close and in their, like, sightline that they always got shots off faster than me. And, like, yeah, taking cover makes it feel like you don't take any damage when you do. So it's just very weird. If I keep my distance, more than likely, it won't be that bad. And, like, actually play it tactically. But, like, that initial run, they, like, got in really close. And the game was like, ah, make sure to take brace for impact. And it just felt like it didn't do anything. I got him. All of them. You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Peg leg man. Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> Go up there. We killed some British! You weeks. And not eating them a goodbye before you live. Sorry. <laughs> that did not feel like a three week voyage. What are you waiting for? Like that that's one thing I have to kind of complain about. The time seems to go way too fast. Put them on. It just feels way too fast. There's no sense of time. I think if the pacing was handled a bit better, then this moment would have more impact. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You have your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Karma. You get to keep your finger. Memory synced. Sequence 5 complete. Are we going to be thrown out of the... The Animus? Feels like it. Either that or we're jumping ahead. And now we can buy guns! Ah, we're getting kicked out. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yay! Yeah? yeah? I've managed to locate a power source. Ah! Close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Oh, is maybe. Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though. And Can she's I still up there for some reason. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe the Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I could probably camouflage the van too. There's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. <laughs> Hoods. So we're we actually going to play as Desmond out in the real world? That'll be fun. Oh. She said something, but 
then it just went away. No seat belts. A fidget spinner? It looks like a fidget spinner. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? <laughs> Base jump! Even though that would be totally obvious, if you ask me. We're on a- we're on a ship? How- how- Oh, okay, good. No, it's uh it's a window. I was about to say. Like, not window, but elevator. Building. We're in a building. Can you hear me? So, literally base jumping. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Speak to just fine. Now, why don't you power up the camera? I've got signal. Running diagnostics. Very flicky. Is it going to give us our third-person view from... <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Alright. Let's see what this section is like. And see if it makes me lament never, like, getting a... Like... Imagine if there was a modern Assassin's Creed game, like, that actually took place in the modern world as a modern character do actually affecting the modern world. That would actually be kind of fun. If done right. I don't think there's like... <laughs> I, find, I do find it funny that there's like no UI in here because we're in the real world. This isn't the Animus. That is kind of a nice touch. Parkour. Sean? Fuck you. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I presume go this way. I say presume because I don't rightly know. Neat. Uh, well, it probably wants me to actually climb up through the hole. Kind of odd that it lets me go around, but hey. Can't fully fault it. Because it is g generally guiding me in the right way. For some reason, now I'm wondering, like, uh, how the game Watch Dogs plays. I think I have it, free from, like, Epic, I think. Might need to throw that onto the list of games that I might play. Now I just need to actually stream more to eventually get around to all these games. Maybe I'll get back into actually having a schedule. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on not so bright side, these flight assist test meetings can be your active meetings at this night. Yeah. Shut up, Sean. He's not wrong though. I'm an assassin, I can't just walk, I have to parkour everywhere. For the power of parkour, I banish you. Again, this is making me feel like a modern Assassin's Creed game. Would have been pretty cool. Might have been hard to do because of urban environments. And like cities and stuff. But hey, if done right, like in small doses... A modern Assassin's Creed game that, like, kind of does away with, like, the open world aspect and goes for, like, level-based stuff. That way you don't have to worry too much about, like, ah, how will the player be able to climb everything? Nah, just make them levels. Should be high enough to make a jump. Should? It'll be fine. Don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a less more. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think it would be neat. Like, if more, like, of these open world games instead went 
like level based with like dishonored style open air levels i think would be cool instead of worrying about populating a full world just do like a hefty level Fun. And what about the people that will, like, know? Well. Now, open your chute now. So the timing's gonna be off, then. I'm frozen. In the air. Gotta hit that heli. We were far up more in the air than that. And is nobody going to notice, like, everything? The parachute, our backpack, our fingerprints. Do I have a hidden blade? So I'm guessing this is the power source thing that they need to open up more areas of the place, maybe? <laughs> Elbow! By God! I forget his name. That wasn't so bad. I was gonna be like, "You must be Desmond." Who are you? Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I am Desmond. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. Did you? You are way too. Shut up. You're way too close. To <laughs> what the fuck was with that dude? He got way too close and I just decked him with the power source. We just went back to the car and then back. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. <laughs> the assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you... Like, I'm sorry, no, that guy's like, oh, he was the assassin, as if he was, like, some bigwig super agent. I, he, he was stupid, got too close, and I decked him in the face with a power source! You're there. You could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. And just to give another thought, considering that this game opened up with an assassin who was actually a Templar, and I'm fairly certain that, like, Sean and... L I forget her name. I forget her name, our tech lady. I'm fairly certain that they show up a bit in later games. Like, maybe in an opening or something, I could swear something about it. Like, aha, Sean is actually doing field work was a thing that I think I saw once. So I think they're good. Delancey, Desmond's father, might be compromised following the kind of like, ah, Desmond's ancestry turned out to be a Templar. Maybe it's repeating. Or there was like... Then again, I think I also heard, I think, something about, like, her name. Like, Lucy, I think? From the, the overall who got shanked back in uh, Brotherhood? Yeah, because I think it was Brotherhood. We got the Apple of Eden, shanked Lucy, went into a coma. So I don't know. Like, then again, it could just be a thing to, like, throw you off. To make you think and be like, oh, no. Could it be somebody that's evil? So something to worry about and ponder. Because who knows, maybe it'll just be a whole thing. Just a whole, 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 whole thing. 
But it's just funny that we just go into this place, it's just basically a climbing mission. Guy comes up, stupid, gets close, deck him with a power source. <laughs> sure, this guy that we've never heard of before, sleeper agent. That actually might be a thing. We're introducing more sleeper agents. And they'll be like, oh, Lucy was actually a sleeper agent. Because that's also another thing. I don't think we've touched on, like, us shanking Lucy at all just yet. We just, like, end of Brotherhood. Oops, Apple made us shank Lucy. She's dead. Like, no mention. Maybe I should have played that DLC where I think Lucy hangs out with Subject 16 or whatever. But I didn't want to. Maybe it could be my fault. Camera's topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. So yeah, I don't know exactly. Well, the door's back, and I'm going to assume she's there to let us know to put the thing there. So, I guess... D did they change something from Remastered to not? Because last time I had a chat, it was just like, Oh, that's weird. You should be able to do things. So maybe they changed it to streamline things. So maybe there's no power cells or whatever to find here. And instead it's all story-based to streamline things because maybe people went, Oh, I don't want to play as Desmond. I want to play as Connor. And uh, then they had to do last-minute gather-ups, maybe. Wonder what's inside. Memories. Only one way to find out. Is that gonna open up something? Ah, it is! It is opening up a thing. <laughs> kind of cut cuts off a bit, like it plays the, oh, swelling music. Then it just stops. Now she's up there. Remarkable how we're just like... Except... Ah, oh, more memory stuff of the Forerunner people. Why is her skin so pale? And only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. The apple of Udon. Oh, slavery. So minds could wish away a wall or create a tree. What might a thousand do? So you created the orcs from Warhammer. I believe in wall not being there. Will the spread away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Through the power of slavery, we will save the world, I guess. You're a Templar, aren't you? That seems very Templar. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the word. This was strange and dangerous. What we tried next was worse. What's worse than slavery? I guess I'm gonna have to walk around and find out. So yeah, that seems to be, I guess, the Templars' overall plan, super subjugation, to then use the subjugated slaves as walking super wishes? 
If we enslave enough people, their combined misery will save us all. That orb was black a moment ago. Back in time? You could only find a way to... Oh. So maybe the trident to go back is the memory, or like, yeah, the genetic memory? But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. She kept absorbing data. And instead began to speak. She called out across time in the hope that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. <laughs> Random John Delancey. <laughs> I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. We saw the depths of Slayer. We seen bright grasshoppers in our own eyes as we looked at things in there. Imagine trying. So this is the best way that they could tell us. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. And we're still listening to her. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Lucy was going to betray us and take ah, so she was a she was a Templar. I saw the satellite launch. I saw them turn it on, and then it failed. Did we see that? I don't remember that. Maybe it's because I just took too long a break. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. So that basically says that even the Templar's plan. To, like save the world wouldn't have worked but yeah did we actually see the satellite launch in a vision somewhere was that in the lucy visit 16 dlc that i didn't play something this feels like a very like deep section and that felt like moon gravity Oh, this is probably just a, hey, you fell down, get back up, fool. Because that's what it feels like. I do kind of like that they made kind of a area that you can wander around, even if it's kind of meaningless. It's kind of nice to be able to just experience the location. It's not just... Like, the necessary areas of the place you can actually wander about. I do like that. Giving places that you are going to spend a lot of time around personality is very important to me. But yeah, now that's just going to haunt me, like, for a while. It's just like, did we actually... Like, see a satellite launch vision? Did I miss it? Am I not remembering things properly? Am I boo-boo the fool right now? But okie dokie, we basically don't have to worry about these segments, I think, because the game will just, uh, exposition to us that we need to do things. Although I do find that funny, that, like, it's kind of happened twice now. Where the first time, like, oh, yeah, you can look around, find these power sources, or you could go back to Connor. And then there were no power sources to be found. And then we wake up again, and once again, it's just like, oh, you could uh, come with us, or you could go back to being Connor. Let's see. Patch notes, don't care. 
Well, let's just go to see if we can find new, because we said we got new. Connor's Peace of Eden. Uh, I think we already read that, but for some reason it really did again. Uh, I think this is Juno trying to reach out to us. It works. Are you surprised electrical impulses move from one pathway to another? You call them networks. Our word for them was more akin to road. Is it difficult? Haytham's Blades. I've been doing some digging on Haytham's Blades. Still not 100% sure where they came from. My initial instinct was he started out as an assassin. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I think we already read this one as well. Oh, no. I don't think we read this. I think we read his animus profile, and it said there that Haytham was born an assassin, but he, like, lived next to a Templar, and the Templar guy recruited him. I believe his father was in was one, in fact, but it appears he was a Templar from pretty early on. Maybe he took them from someone. It's happened before, and they're quite handy. I'm surprised more Templars haven't put them to use. Pretty easy to build a pair if you know what you're doing. I found a way to build con to better control the impulses, to formulate a thought and transmit it, to add a sense of structure, a sense of order. You fear order, your kind, the gentle hand tends the flock. It is a kindness, not a cruelty. I wonder will you ever understand. Your enemies do in their own way. But they share your base heritage. Their concept is flawed. They are not worthy. You have all proved unworthy of our gifts. Well, that's not uh, disturbing. Well, looks like Juno's really taking a shine to you. I suggest you don't engage her. There isn't time to go down that rabbit hole. I'm, it's proven sure to be proven the uh, badgers didn't. Besides, this whole experience is actually that final door. Salvation, was it? But for us, who knows? Here we sit, working towards something we know next to nothing about. But it's our only chance. So, there's that, I suppose. <laughs> Subject, leave him alone. You shouldn't, you should not meddle in affairs that you do not, that do not concern you. <laughs> Lol, somebody doesn't like me. All these Juno visits and emails too, apparently, have got me thinking. What happened to Tinia and Minerva? They're the ones who invited us to this little apocalypse party. And now they've gone and buggered off. A little inconvenient, not to mention rude. I'll try and poke around later, see if there's not some sign of what happened to them. Considering what Juno said, that Minerva sent messages back specifically for us, I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, if Juno hijacked them to some degree. If Juno is like pretending to be Tinia and... Minerva, now that we're down here, she's just like, eh, fuck it. Good luck, Desmond. I'll need all the luck I can get. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects braves. And when did we get a gun? Templar's plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? Connor, <laughs> His face changed! A moment. For only by of course. My enemy can I hope for <laughs> and not to mention, the, like, loading screen monologue is still going! <laughs> There's an oak. What is it? A shin bao. Ooh. Sorry. We'll have to work on this. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's gonna help us in traversal a bit. That would be nice. Are we gonna have to kill a fool? Oh. Yes, my friend. Oh, is that the little dude? The little dude we helped? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came. Claiming we had to leave, they said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. You have that voice doesn't really match the face, but Johnson. oh well. He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft. Connor, take care. These men are powerful. I will kill them. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. Go and kill William Johnson. Of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. 
will be able to help. Let me guess, it's like a, I will take this. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? When my people go to war, ah. a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. And it's only taken out once it's over. The threat has ended, the hatchet is removed. That's nice. <laughs> you could have used a tree. <laughs> <laughs> New tool available in shops. Now let's take a look around. There's lots of homestead, well, lots I say. There's like two homestead missions and a peg leg mission. I say let's see if we can do these homestead missions. Okay, that's nice. It's right there. And let's see, what do we have? We have a flintlock pistol, but no ammo it seems. A bow. We have no rope darts, no poison, no trip mines. We have some snares. We have some bait. We have a horse whistle and money. Very interesting. And there's also naval missions, probably. Now, let's see. Yeah, we just don't have, like, the people to buy things, it seems. But, missing resources. Good. Buy everything. More resources. More resources for me! Can make barrels. No idea if we'd need more barrels. But yeah, let's do homestead missions, because why not? And plus, I don't think I'll be doing any of the trading stuff unless it's really important because, like, I'm fairly certain I can just get money on my own much faster. Come. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. And what shall we do? With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people live during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. And what does that even mean? What do we do? Is it in the house or out? I don't even know what that means. Huh. Just lots of stuff. Apparently we're at 44% completion. Okay. Let's see. DNA tracker. Go to homestead. I wish I could just hold it and automatically go. Oh well. Let's see. Retrieve Achilles long lost parcel. So, oh, is it Legacy? No. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Ready Achilles' final resting place. Oh, no, we can't let the player know, like, what the bonus objectives to a mission are, because that would be spoilerific, right in the, the DNA mission place. Achilles is going to fucking die. That's kind of silly. But, yeah, it seems like that just... did nothing. I go up, I talk to him, he's like, we should do that. I say, okay. Now we'll go to the other homestead mission and then go to the peg leg mission. Oh, is this a fast travel? I can interact with it. It. Oh, you can fast travel. Okay, yeah, that's just a fast travel. It was just. I was wondering what that was. What? Bloody hell! Can you help me? 
Silent Hunter. Are you dying? Are you all right? Oh. What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this... I'll go kill them. They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? She has no home. Uh, I, I don't have a I home knew to it. say. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. Let me uh, guess. Are you going to become Connor's, like, love interest for this game? No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. And the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. I am kind of disappointed that they seem to try to recreate the Ezio thing of like, ah, lots of time passed, but like, they did haven't really earned it yet. Thank you, Achilles. Although one thing has happened, Connor has come to resemble Haytham quite a bit more. What are you doing? Murder. Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. But yeah, just like it seems like they are trying to do the time passes, Ezio grows older thing that Assassin's Creed 2 did, but... They're just not giving it time to settle in. That was weird. Like he stumbled off. Well, let's try and climb the nature. I'm coming for you, poachers. You have done a very silly thing. I think I already see him. If I wasn't being directed to a specific location, I would have started murdering now. Hold Y while above. I guess I need to get... Old Y, it says. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. One second, I shall... Okay, so I can hang these guys with rope darts. Very interesting and utterly brutal. I like it. Let's see if I can get close enough to hang that boy. Doesn't seem to be. Is there anything else? Just kill an officer. Citizen missions. Okay. I'm so used to playing, like, Shadow of Mordor lately. I want to hold a button to sneak. Come over here. Get over here! I whistle while I loot because I am a sick fuck. Oh, I think they're trying to get away. Or are they coming near? William Johnson. 
Captain's opening up some of that Oi. Mohawk land you purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good haul up there. I hear tell luck. How about you just die? And then find the last poster. Presumably, and kill him. Uh, once again, the game has stolen my ability to control my camera. And then it came back. I think it's something to do with the contextualness. Where it's just like, ah, oh, you did an action and now we're gonna lock away your camera. Even though I'm fairly certain that you should be able to, like, continue to move your camera while looting. And it's just weird. But that guy glowing... Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I think... Bear me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. They're gonna come back with friends. Revenge. Probably. If you just keep killing them, the word will get around and then they'll just go away. It, either that or they'll come up to us like those, like, Templar dudes... When we first came to Achilles' homestead. And they'll just be like, we're gonna come like an army. Yeah, that's another thing, like, the flow of the missions seem a bit weird. Start, stop, even the cutscenes. Maybe it's something to do with the remaster, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I murdered a lot of men. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. <laughs> the only reason we killed them was because they shot another person. Don't poach, become hunter. So maybe she's not a love interest. She just exists here now. Oh yeah, I forgot because the ledger thing was weird. Oh, custom marker. I don't care about you. Let's go to the peg leg mission. Because why not? Let's go talk to peg leg man. Hear him ramble. No, like, I don't know, wander into the forest, shank some things. Get back here, or I'll just kill you. Assassinate! And that's how you get perfect pelts in this game. Who needs to actually hunt when you can just rup run up on a bitch? Hmm. I guess while I go do it, I can also just, like, I don't know, just randomly put snares, like, here's the road, I'll just, how do I set down snare? Like this. I'll just randomly put down snares as I walk along, and then on the way back I'll check the snares. I don't know. I do not know how to hunt. I just know video gum. I'll set down three. Go back to... Apparently we got bullets. Uh, we'll go back to that and, like, if we see a squirrel, I guess I'll shoot it with a... With, with, I'll shoot it with a gun! I hear an elk. I must go and murder. What the fuck? Die! <laughs> That's what you get for sounding like an elk. Mr. Pegleg. I'm here to talk to you. Do what do I owe this great honor, Captain? I want to talk to you about the random things I found. What are they? Oh, now you 
want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewhere and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. A strange piece of leather. You'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, Kiz. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a cotton, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interesting swag. <laughs> swag. I wonder when swag was first used. What you got for me? Things. Ah, you brought me some good pieces. That's worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. Anything else? Got some more? Let's have a look then. More keepers. Good on you. I'd say that's worth another letter. I will be back for the rest. Find 14 trinkets. What's he got this time? <laughs> I got <laughs> eight trinkets, so I just have to keep <laughs> pressing. Ah. You'll need some more. Okie doke. Alrighty then, if I want to do naval missions, which I kind of don't right now. We can always come back and do naval missions later. Now I just need to remember what path I took to check my diddly dees. My traps. How dare you not glow in the moonlight? Your soul is mine! Diddly diddly dee. Diddly 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 dee. Almost floating tree. Now the hardest part will be like checking if my thing actually caught anything because I don't think I'm smart enough to tell. It would probably tell me if it did. They're very big markers for very tiny things. Walking along, walking along. Hmm. I'll quickly check on the shack. See if there's anything else in the ledger I can buy. Just off skip. And then we'll see about going down and doing some main mission stuff. Like actual main missions. It's so long we haven't even gotten to our first actual, like, super assassination. Apparently these... You're all out. I'll just buy everything. Uh, give me everything. I'm, I'm rich. Wait, beaver pelt? I can get beaver pelts. Deer pelt. Guess if I need extra pelts, I'll know where to buy. And then that's just, like, stuff we have. Crafting. That's the woodworker, but we don't have everything. Poultry meat. Hmm. Cartridge, so that's just, like, stuff I wanna... Don't have Big Dave. We don't have walnut lumber. Can make another land convoy if we wanted. Don't have Oliver, or Lyle, or you. Don't have the people. I don't really care about trading. Well, now we shall make our way back the way. Let's see about doing story missions, maybe in Boston. 
Yeah, that's another thing. Like, the flow of the story has, so far has felt weird. Like, Haytham's part felt the most, like, it was rushed, but felt the most, like, naturally paced. Everything with Connor just seems to be jumping around. Is ever so slightly bothersome to me. Do you see my chiseled jawline? I'm no longer a lad. Because, like, at least when Ezio got a, like, tangible, like, uh, ba -ba -ba. like a tangible time skip, at the very least, it was after a lot had happened and was at a good point for a time skip to happen. With Connor, it's just, like, all over the place. A few months passed, and then a thing happened. I would like to jump to that thing that's clearly a thing game. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, a time thing? Or what? Maybe it was directorial. They're like, I want it this way. It just feels off. And I wish that it was better handled. Let's go to the frontier! There's my horse, if I want it. Hunting society. Viewpoint not synced. Ooh, a homestead mission. All right, let's see. Guess I could fast travel there, but we could also get some, like, stuff going in. So we'll head down there, interact with them. Then I guess go down here, grab the feather, maybe talk to the hunting society. Make my way down here, get those. Come down here for the homestead mission, get that viewpoint. Then probably wander my way to get there. Because I am compelled to complete. Apparently I'm notorious out here. That's more of a cliff. I need to be careful. Mainly want to go on foot in case there's like... Good hunting. Hey, there's that guy again. It's just a guy. I didn't mean to double tap him. He's already dead. I don't even know what he's there for. He's just wandering around. Enemy marked. I'm like, eh, time to kill him. That is the way of the assassin. The hoof beats of my own horse induce paranoia. But as I walk along, I shall think of things to talk about. I've done a lot more writing lately. To those interested, writing can be found in my link tree that I plug at the end of all these streams and recordings. And so far, it's been coming to me nicely. I still want to do more writing. Make my days more productive overall. It's hard. Sometimes brain just gets in the way and makes it difficult to do things. Hmm. I wonder if this will be a viable way through. I also need to draw more. That's one thing I keep telling myself. I need to, like, build up a habit 
of drawing. Not too much that it, like, strains my wrist and gives me carpal tunnel early on in my life. But, like, enough of that things matter. Build habits. Learn strengths. Just do stuff. And hopefully... Be able to do things. I also need to get into... At least trying... To make YouTube videos again. I'm thinking of maybe trying something far simpler. That's still, like, somewhat visually engaging. I'll have to see how it goes. It'll be something to try. I need to find a good, like, opening script to try making that be a thing. I don't care about analyzing the clue unless it leads me to murdering someone. Yeah, that's just... Thoughts that I have going on. Want to do lots more. Need to build habits, grow skills, and just get around to doing things. As well as try to ignore the evil brain that's just like, Ah, you are a failure. No people care. Of course, because I'm unknown. I need to actually do things to thereby encourage people to come on by. Why do I get the feeling this place is going to burn a second time? I have come to talk to you, because you are an interactive conversation. Nice that we return to using the presumably... And God, those... These arrows suck ass! What is it, those arrows? Why are they- why are they Nintendo 64?! I'll rant about that after this conversation's over. I- I missed a section. I missed the entire conversation because I was I just noticed that those arrows... ...are terrible. The, the, those arrows, that quiver, they're just so badly done. Hello, old friend. Huzzah for harvest. Not terrible. <laughs> Kept busy by our enemies. You know, the enemies I haven't interacted with in like a year. Thank you, dear friend. Alright, we'll go get that feather in the hunting society. Make our way down a bit. Hibbledy jibbledy. Do things. Now I just need to find my way out of here. But yes. Jumping back to like my want to video make. I might make my first video like a ramble about Assassin's Creed 1. Since I've been playing a bunch of Assassin's Creed and I want to... <laughs> That's like another thing that I need to do is like... Uh... Flee from me! Like, uh, one thing that I need to do is clear up space on my hard drive, because I have just hours and hours of, like, stream footage, because my brain is just like, ah, we can use this to make, like, like, review videos someday. Because I'm a fool. At the very least, what I need to do is get in the habit of, like, actually uploading like that's one thing like one one big reason why i want to like stream and like record and make let's play of all these games is because then it gives me justification to then upload the footage 
to YouTube for safekeeping. And if worse comes to worse, then I can just, like, like download it or, like, re-record it. I'll need to look into the possibility of, like, if YouTube has functions for an uploader to... Is that an enemy? Fuck. I almost fell. What the fuck? You're being mean. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I don't even know who these guys are. I'm gonna steal their wallets. They're not red coats, but who knows? I see enemy markers, and I'm like, fuck them. Oh yeah. Once again, need to look into the if YouTube has like the ability for uploaders to like download their own videos or not. What do you mean, convoy? Like, I don't even know what this attack convoy is. But sure, I'll go... <laughs> okay. Uh... These guys just, like, didn't notice at all. I don't even know what I did there. Come to me, gunman! Once again, it stole my ability to use my camera. I'd like to use my camera. <laughs> I will loot this wagon. I want the game to stole all from me. I didn't even know. I don't even know what this is. There's an attack convoy. What the fuck's an attack convoy? This guy doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. I don't even know what I got out of looting that wagon. And it stole control from me again. I got lots of money, though. So just random event stuff, sure. But yeah. Overall, I just need to manage my footage better before my hard drives get eaten up by all this footage I'm not using. I just need to, like, try to make use of things much more. Come on! Me for it! Come on, yep, yeah, get... Come on, get distracted and die! The, the rabbit did a get down Mr. President for that elk. Yeah, in the future I might be plugging a YouTube video of my creation. And be like, hey, recently did thing. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes. I think I did that once when I was, like, playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and I made a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon related image. I'm like, hey, this is a thing. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge.
Don't even ha know who these guys are, but they'll get angry at me just for existing. Hopefully my... I miss Assassin's Creed 2's, like, version of, like, the notoriety meter. Because at least then I would know, like, what I'm notorious for. Some folks were fixing to settle on a plot not far from here. Then they got eaten. Seems a big black bear with a taste for human blood settled there first. Bring the beast down and some good people would be great. God, I think it's been so long since I last streamed that I haven't even talked about the amazing digital circus. Because you see... The Amazing Digital Circus is quite good. Uploaded on YouTube by the same people that made Murder Drones. That's another ramble that I need to make. Just, like, ramble my thoughts. I have a script. I just need to voice it. And then, like, the biggest problem for me when it comes to YouTube videos making them is the editing process for some reason. I think it might be anxiety for some reason, but I don't know why just, like, the act of, like, oh making YouTube video editing hard would set off my anxiety, but it's the same kind of thing where sometimes I'll be like, ah, today I shall stream. And then the closer it gets to stream time, something in me is just like, no, no, do not want, do not want, no. So, and one person who has gone to therapy says like, hey, that kind of sounds like what my therapist called anxiety. Apparently, my, something a prey was in my snare and was stolen by a rival hunter. It's because it's too slow. Why set snares when I can just run up on some fools and stab them? Hmm. But yeah, they're just like, I have a lot of just brain issues to overcome when it comes to creating art and just things that I want to share with the internet at large. I don't know what brain worm issues doth lie in my head that makes it difficult to make them, but they exist and I'm trying to get over it to a certain degree. Or like, handle it, I suppose one could say better. Because I want to stream more, I want to write more, I want to draw more, I want to make YouTube videos. I just need to actually apply myself and do it. And now let's see if we uh, suffer the... Uh, I guess we need to get to the right part to be able to climb up because the game doesn't want to? Uh, game! The fuck? <laughs> just climb. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Finicky bitch! Synchronize. And let's see if the synchronization bug happens. I believe I was informed that if I jump, pause midway through, it might stop. Let's try it at least. And nobody seemed to care that a man dropped out of the sky. There seems to be, like, a courier mission, which is just like... Well, fuck it. I, I don't think they're... I don't think they're timed. I can just accept it and deliver. Except if I cross these guys, I think they might kill me. I did nothing wrong. I just killed some people in the woods, but nobody cares about that. It's the colonies. Let's see, is this actually a mission or just like, hey, do thing? Yeah, it's just, hey, do thing.
Tripoli, sir, because I don't think anything happened. Maybe I accepted a mission in Boston. And they're like, hey, deliver these letters off to the idiots in the far away. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I just never delivered it for years. That's probably what happened. No, it said start mission, though, so... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was swinging! And it just... The, I just went to climb this fucking tree. Apparently I can assassinate something. And now it's gone. Game, I'm going to shank whoever made you. Like, I get it. You're like, ah, nature climbing, but why? Why, though, if it's frickin', like, synchronized, let me go synchronize, you bitch. Contextual bullshit. This weekend, because it's just like, swing, actually grab. I don't even know where go. Game. I hate you. Why would you make this like this? I just want to synchronize. I just want to synchronize! There we go. I just wanted to synchronize. But it was a tree. So it was nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. And, um... I'm gonna die. Because the game's mean. How do they fuck up the synchronization towers? You make a tower, you put a fucking thing below the tower. And now the icons show up. But yeah, it's just like, you, you make a fucking tower, you put leaves bottom of tower, boom. But no, it's just like, oh, we have to be silly. Will you be safe to jump off or not? We're not going to tell you. We're Ubisoft. We don't inform anything. I don't even know if it actually worked or not. I think the person I'm delivering mail to is getting mugged. And once again, I hate the new system of like, oh, you can counter, but not really. Like, why even include them? <laughs> okay, that's funny. And then he just went flying. You, have my everlasting gratitude, sir. <laughs> you murdered all of those men. For me. But yeah, at least the system back in Assassin's Creed, like, 2 and stuff made sense. Where some enemies, like, might not immediately get killed by a counter, I think. You would just do a decent amount of damage to them, if I recall correctly. So it's just very weird that they're just like, we're not even going to give you any health bars for the enemies. Why? Why deprive information from the player? What did the player ever do to you? What, was the player in Lightning McQueen? Fucked your mom, shit lips? Like, seriously, why did they decide we're going to go back in time and take health bars off the menu? Why would you deprive the player of information that you've been giving the player since Assassin's Creed 2? Like, I understand Assassin's Creed 1. Because Assassin's Creed 1's kind of basic. It doesn't need health bars. This game, this game needs health bars. Thank you. 
So just like, why would you uh, not do that? Why would you uh, be weird and uh, not give the player information? <laughs> and again, it feels like they overcomplicated the combat in this game so far. It's kind of interesting, but also like... Like, I don't know, there's just something about how it's done compared to the other Assassin's Creed's. I'm going to get rolled by a gator, aren't I? But it's just like how they removed how bibbidi ba normal stuff worked. It's just weird. This is the Rabbit Island. If you come into my way, I will kill you. Raccoon, I need you. For my infinity stones. God, you're a fast little fuck. But not fast enough. Yeah, well. But yeah, just overall, the combat feels, it feels like I'm not able to make informed decisions with the combat in this game. It feels more floundering than the other Assassin's Creed. Granted, this game also took away lock-on as a feature. Like, no idea why they would do that. While well, they would just go like, yeah, no, you don't get to lock on to people. We're going to move all of everything to a single contextual button press and tell you to fuck off. That is Assassin's Creed 3. Why they do that, I don't know. It's like they had a team making the Assassin's Creed games and they're iterating... And they're iterating, and they're like, yeah, we're building up as we go along. And then some fucking executive came down and said, we have to change things. Why? Because if we don't change things, people will say you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But instead of actually doing something new, they just change superfluous things. Like, oh, uh, you... Just, like, can't lock on to people. There's no health bars now. You counter by pressing B and then another button rather than holding a trigger and pressing a button. So we're going to turn all fights into quick time events. Oh, by the way, let's also add in uh, hunting and crafting like everything else is doing. Yeah, well. Because that's totally new and original. Do the things that we do good more? No. Do the things that everyone else is doing, but no. It's just a weird, annoying thing. I just wish less games would do. Like, if you have a good thing, like, yes, try to keep it fresh. But, like, don't needlessly change things for seemingly no reason. Like, I still don't understand why they got rid of the active lock. I understand having, like, soft lock on as in, like, a normal thing to let you know, hey, if you do a thing now, this is who you'll target. But then there should be something to let the player override that and be like, no, I want to target that guy. And it's just very weird how they've done it. And why they've done it. A oh, bastard!
die. Just like, yeah, overall, just wish that they just would stick to making things better rather than different. There's just no need to change things for no reason. Change for change's sake is a meaningless endeavor. Find the bear tracks. I heard the bear. Wow, I wonder where the bear is. Oh, there's multiple bears. I wonder if I can just sneak up on this bear and kill it. You want to come get me? I can kill you too. Come on, assassinate. Get stabbed. Oh! This is a super quick time event. Oh, come on, I clicked A, you bastard. How many bears are in this group? What is this? <laughs> the Berenstein Bear family? I think the game crashed. Through the power of fighting all five billion bears, did I crash the game? I wonder if the game is telling me something. Huh. <laughs> the bear is too strong. Not only are they so many, they activate the secret power. Crash the game. Is this the power of an enemy stand? And apparently we've completed 26% of the game. Like, actually, that's another thing. The game feels all over the place. We jump to Desmond, we do something for ten minutes, we go back to Connor. Motherfucker put me back all the way over here? God damn it. It's not my fault that this game, I guess... <laughs> I've summoned my horse. Yeah, the problem is that it's basically jumbled junk the entire way through. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess now that we have to go back there all the way because the game decided to send me to oblivion, the shadow zone. But, yeah, just overall need to do more things. I should try to be more active on social media. Like, comment on... Like, uh... Pieces of art that I like more. Try to interact with people. But that's tiresome. I don't want to interact with people. I just want to do things. Like, n networking is weird within the realm of social media. They killed my goddamn horse.
bastard. That is still an amusing counter animation. Again, why give me the option of countering if you're just, like, not going to, like, make it be a thing? Especially if it's, like, not going to do anything. Why give me the option to counter if it is meaningless game? It's just so frustrating. Like seriously. Why at all have it be like that? It's so dumb. That's such an annoying mechanic. Like, why have the counter be like that? What dictates this stupid shit? I hit the button, I should get good fucking shit out of it, man. Enemy is there. I counter enemy. I press button in time. Why does the game just decide to say fuck you? Is the game racist against Connor? I think the game is racist against Connor. It's just like, no, we don't want the Native American to actually be able to counter people. Like, seriously, why even have a counter button if it doesn't do anything to some enemies? What's the secret? They never say anything about this. What is this stupid shit, man? It's just unbelievable. And that one didn't even allow me to fucking see his fucking oncoming bullshit. I'm hitting the goddamn button, you dumbass game. Game. I hate the I hate the enemies that are just like, oh, we get counters. Fuck off, I moved this, you fucking stupid piece of shit. Like, seriously, what is the point of countering in this stupid-ass game? Like, how do you deal with anything? Do I just run away from that motherfucker? What do I do against that cunt? No, seriously, what the fuck do I do against this asshole? What is the point of game if I cannot actually play game? If I have to just do this instead? Because the game just isn't explaining anything about the, oh yeah, the enemy, they can counter your counters. Well, how do I counter their counter counters game? How do I actually do things? Because you never, like, 90% certain they didn't cover this in anything at all. So it's just like, what the fuck? Especially because this is Assassin's Creed. Counters have worked the same way, pretty much, since Assassin's Creed 1. If you are going to change it so radically, so utterly radically, that, to this point, explain, game. Explain why you have butchered shit here. You need to explain why thing not work? If you don't explain why thing don't work, why even?
Maybe you only can do certain counters against certain classes or levels of enemy. Like with this guy, maybe I just need to disarm him entirely before I can do anything. I don't know. The game didn't actually explain. Or maybe it was something that they're like, oh, you have to learn by yourself. That, like, when you encounter this enemy, you have to tittle their testicles or something. I would just like to be informed of what the fuck. It just would be nice to be informed about shit. And they just don't seem to be in the mood for that. Especially because there's just like, it's just a normal guy in a kilt. Why is he just like not affected? <laughs> By goddamn counters. At the very least, like, it'd be one thing if the game explicitly said, like, hey, this incoming attack isn't counterable. Okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. But when the game is like, here's a normal counterable attack, psych, you stupid idiot. You moron. How dare you trust the game to inform you of how things work. That is just the dumbest thing. Because I'm just like, I'm playing the goddamn game. If I play the game, I expect it to function as game do. So when the game just decides to not do that, it just decides to be like, yeah, we're not going to function. All over this stupid change to the combat they didn't need to make. It's just frustrating. There's just, like, no reason to make these changes at all. The previous combat system was fine. Maybe you could find ways of making it interesting in the, your own way. There's just no reason to do it the way that you did. I hear rare, rare. Maybe they're gunshots. How did the bear get up here? I know they can climb trees, but can they climb fucking rock faces? I dare. I was in middle. A thing. I shall loot the dead body. His shit is mine. By right of game crash. Lamau. Weiler bear out. Why not go in and murder? <laughs> we are supernatural. Uh, yeah, I already looted him. 
<laughs> We're gonna use the dead body. The, he already has a red coat in there. I don't think he needs more. That is hilarious. One dead body, not enough. Needs a second that they already probably brought in. The animation it was sending me into the brush. <laughs> this is the super boss. It's like, how dare you not sneakily assassinate it? Although, again, I will say, the hunting is better than Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm sorry, but it was just tedious as fuck. If maybe I was allowed to, like, actually gather up pelts and stuff... I wouldn't be as annoyed by it. But just Red Dead Redemption 2 was focused too much on being like a realism simulator to actually tell, like, or like actually make a game. It was just very bothersome to me. But I'm still hooked on the, the combat being wonky and weird. I don't understand why they did it. Like, I can understand, like, making countering not the be-all, end-all of combat. But you can't just, like, butcher it like they did here. Because it just makes it so unsatisfying. Haha, -ha, I hit the rhythm-based, like, thing to catch the enemy. Motherfucker game? Are you stupid? There was a branch. Why are you like, oh no, the player doesn't want to go to the fucking thing that they can actually interact with. Nah, they would never want that. They would want something completely different. Just, I don't understand it. I don't understand. It just, it just, it feels weird. Once again, like, so many little things, even big things, that they're just like, aha, uh -huh. it must be, uh, different. Uh, because fuck you. No tangible reason, as far as I can tell. Again, I understand, you, you want it to be different, you want it to, like, breathe some fresh air. Into this uh, franchise that's been going for four major entries, but like, come on, come on, dude. Like, maybe it wasn't the tutorial, but at the same time, everything else of this, the tutorial might also be bad. Because I don't know. I just, I don't remember at all anything. And another goddamn tree one. Congratulations. You will not be killed this day. Marr. But yeah, it's just like... I'm annoyed by enemies not having health bars. I'm annoyed by there being, like, no real feedback on what enemies can and can't be countered. I'm annoyed by just, like, all that stuff. Now the question is, will I be able to uh, find the safe jump down area for this? Or maybe I need to climb down. Because with all these goddamn leaves in the way, I can't find my way down. 
Maybe that is the thing. They expected you to actually climb down, but it's just like... I hate the tree synchronization points. May all the water, the designers of the t tree synchronizations, be rancid. You are undeserving. A Templar fort. But yeah, that's just, like, so dumb. Why would you design it like that? They had it right for four games. Oh, you climb to a big area, this big, tall thing. We want you to be able to get down someday. So, uh, we're gonna make it so you can get down someday. Assassin's Creed 3 rolls around. Lol, fuck the player. That is basically what this game is in a lot of ways. Find, destroy the power reserve, find and, for, find and kill the captain. Whoopsie. Okay, I do like that they actually have a little... I am whistling to the motherfucker and he's just not can. Uh oh. Don't know why they don't do double assassinations as much anymore. In Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations, it felt like double assassinations were all hunky dory and handy and dandy. In this game, it's like, oh, analyze clue. Ah, I guess that's one way to find out, like, what animals exist in an area. Hmm. We need to find a way in through all this terrible lighting. I, I presume that's just the uh, the fox that I found. Secondary target. Oh, no. That's the fort's captain. Oh, no. <laughs> I was, like, wondering. I was just like, why the fuck is that over there? Yes, I know. I, I, I saw it was like that. Analyze clue, but still. Why is it called secondary target? That feels a bit weird. Hmm, I guess I could technically... Like, invade. Just up front and slibbity -dee. I wanted to assassinate him, but he was mean and wouldn't let me. Die, kilt man. I hit the thing, jerk. Okay. Attack the guy with the gun, dipshit. That's so stupid. The combat in this game is so much worse than other Assassin's Creed's.
because they changed it way too much. And they don't explain what the fuck they changed. Just no explanation whatsoever. It's Assassin's Creed, but we're not actually going to tell you what the fuck. That's one way to do it. Blah, blah. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what happened? I was just hiding and the game just decided once again, fuck you. Game. Function for once in your life. Yeah, just whoever designed this game was high while doing it. Jesus fucking Christ. And that one didn't even have a warning. It was just like, hey, prepare to counter. It was just not there. Well designed this game was. Most well-designed Assassin's Creed. Totally not terrible at all. Where they're just like, oh, you're hiding. Well, we're just gonna find you out for no reason. Feedback game. Give the player feedback of what the fuck is happening. I don't even know who the fuck... You, you're not even on the map. You're not on the map. Game. Stupid ass motherfucker. That's totally well designed. Enemy who isn't even on the goddamn mini map. What the fuck, game? What's wrong with you? Hey, another attack that wasn't telegraphed by the counter button. It honestly just feels like they were doing too much, like, new stuff to actually make a good game. It's just so bothersome. Hmm. I wonder how I blow you up. Do I just shoot my gun? Or maybe I need to kill the guy, and then I'll be able to do it. I don't know. Then again, blowing up the powder in the previous one. Ah, I need to come in here. I have to do it at the door. I can't just set the building on fire in general. Well, game, I would like to stand back if you didn't put me in fucking danger zone! Once again, another attack happened with no... Oh, hey, another attack happened with no <laughs> warning. Most well-designed game ever. What even is the trip mine? Is it a bomb? I doubt it. It's just so annoying. I held the air. I th Did I just use the guy who was shooting at me as a human shield against himself? I think that he did. I think that is exactly what happened.
<laughs> what is wrong with this game? I used my telekinesis to stab that motherfucker. And I just got a shitload of money. Nice. I hate that the, like, other non-objective things pop up in the objective section for this mission thing. Making me wonder just, like, what is real anymore. Do we even have the American flag yet? Or do, like, what are we going to put up there? Okay, we somehow have the American flag. When did we get it? How, how do we even know about it? And now this is a... This is... Just, I haven't even joined the war! But apparently I have! It's like they saw the flag and went, Oh, I guess we need to surrender now. And yet these guys are still gonna kill me if they see me, I think. Okay, good. They're they're marked as enemies. But I guess because I'm in the fort and I helped the fort, they're like, okay, we'll let this one go. This is so fucking weird. We'll do this homestead mission and then we'll probably stop because this is just getting so janky. Honestly, I might int this is getting so janky and annoying on a basic level. I might just pull back and only do homestead and main missions. Maybe naval. But like, side objective things that aren't really missions, I'll probably just abandon entirely. Because the main things are just like so janky and stupid. I hate the counter mechanic in this game. There's no feedback to the player on what the fuck is going on. I guess they're just expecting the player to look at the enemy and go, Ah, yes, this is the enemy that kicks my ass in this way. I will try to counter him in a different way today, I guess. But it just, like, doesn't give fucking feedback. Uh... Yeah, don't stab them while their back is turned at all. How can you tele just teleport towards me? How very rude. They're keeping up with me. So yeah, it's just like certain enemies are immune to certain kinds of counters, I guess. Which is just unbelievably stupid unless you actually give the player a tutorial on it. Of which they didn't. Oh, did he kill him? Hope not. They're doing an animation, so I don't think so. Oh, there's a bunch more now. Why are you all so dedicated to this? Yeah, these are just like super tanky boys who are tanky for no reason. I guess. 
can do that, and then I can kill. Okay, so... Super tanky boys are annoying in the respect that... They just have a lot of health, and you need to do the... So basically, they just got rid of, hey, counter them with, hey, disarm them. Is basically what I'm getting. What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. There's a homestead that I'm way. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? This certainly comes be. Thank you. <laughs> Huzzah, he's not dead. And now we have more community members. Also, it's like, they killed our animals. The animals are right here. And now, ah, that's just like, hey, go to a printing shop to get rid of your notoriety. Guess we'll just maybe head that way, grab that, and then hopefully we'll respawn closer to there when we restart the game later. Bad, just like so far. I do believe there's supposed to be some kind of like assassinate as you go system. But they haven't really given you much to use it with. They'll never see me. It's just the overall system is so wonky. It's like, ah, oh, we have to make it new. Why not just make it fun? Die, Captain Man. And sorry, dog, but you're part of the enemy. You're British. And again, it took away control of my camera. Why does it consistently do that? Thank you. Why is that just a consistent recurring thing? It hurts. I'm trying to say something, but I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I hate when I'm like, I wanna say something. But then I have to wait out the sneeze. It hurts. But yeah, so far I'm... Th this game is a mixed bag so far. Mechanically, it feels clunky because it's trying to do different compared to the Assassin's Creed's of the past for seemingly no reason. And it just feels like a bothersome thing. Why not just make game good?
And again, I mi- like it feels like they just made everything more obtuse. The notoriety system is harder to read, and getting rid of it seems more difficult overall. Combat seems more complicated for no reason. Just seems like consistent, we're going to make everything harder for no reason. Why? Because fuck you. Why not just make game good? Come on, climb the windmill. You'll never catch me, British man. So yeah, <laughs> this is a game of pick the singular option that will actually lead to their death counter system, which is just not how they introduced it. It wasn't like they said, hey, some enemies... These can be susceptible to countering. Where some will, like, expect you to, like, come after them. What the fuck? Quit spawning cunts behind me, you stupid motherfucker. I hate this. This is so stupid. And you're me leaping. It's right fucking there, you dipshit. You spawned a motherfucker behind me. Fuck off. That's so bothersome. Oh, come on, I was fucking behind him. Man, it's just so stupid. This whole thing. There was a blue marker back here for some reason. They are literally spawning assholes on my ass. They literally are. That's so stupid. Why? Why the fuck would you do that? That is bad design. That is just uh, ungodly bad design. It's the wilds where I can't seemingly can't get rid of my notoriety. Fuck off and let me play the game. That's so dumb. Or who knows, maybe that's a glitch too. And they're not meant to be spawning, but they are for some reason. This is unbelievably dumb. This is mind-numbingly dumb. Once again, not telegraph for counter. I was choosing to hold them on as a fucking motherfucker game. But yeah, they basically changed the ultimate kill button of godliness from just the normal counter button to disarm, and then you can just kill them, which is so dumb. They meaninglessly change things. Oh no, people have learned that countering in this game is good. 
quick, make it so that it's actually bad, except you just need to do a different kind of counter now. Genius. Because, like, yeah, it doesn't change how the combat flow goes. They still all die to a very easy tactic. It's just you change the tactic. Congratulations. You morons. I hold no sympathy for the designer of that this stupid system. It's just mind-bogglingly dumb. I would have more respect if you could like actually like look at an enemy and be like, "Hmm." Um, like try to ascertain like how like cuz the the new counter system it could work it could be cool where they're like ah do i want to like are they a simple mook who i can just kill out right with a simple normal counter or do i think that throwing him to the ground cuz he might look like a heavy boy throw him to the ground destabilize him and stab him on the ground maybe that would be preferable Like, if they actually had me analyze an enemy and go, ah, I think I know the best way to, like, deal with them. Like, have, actually look at them and decide how I think to counter them I should go. Like, that would be cool. But they just don't do that. It's just a different version of the same brain-dead system. Except it's now an annoying brain dead system because for four games it's counter and kill. Kill counter. Just do that. And then they're like, oh no, it's been the same for four games. Better change it irrevocably for no reason. And badly at that. Again, if it actually tangibly changed. To be like, ah, heavy guy, I need to throw him off balance so that I can then stab him. Uh, guy who has a loose grip on his weapon, but is seems to be well put together. Or, I need to uh, disarm him. Guy who is, like, li li like, lean on his feet and just, like, normal. Has a good grip on his weapon. Like, have archetypes I can look at and be like, ah, this is the specialty thing that I need to deal with. Instead, it's just same button again. Except it just takes longer now. Instead of instantly killing them or dealing damage, I disarm them and then smack them like they're an Urukai captain from Shadow of Mordor. Except at least in Shadow of Mordor, all the systems at least are put together. Motherfucker, you can climb that, you dipshit. You motherfucker. Climb it, you cunt. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a different side of this tree you don't want to climb? This is... So dumb. I didn't uh, click the run at button on the right centimeter of frickin' tree. Yeah, like, there are good ideas in this game. Like, the nature climbing. That's cool. Like, the... Uh, apparently there's a system where you can, like, uh, free run kill enemies in a, a flow. That seems like it would be cool if I can get it to work properly. Taking down the forts is cool. Hunting could be nice. Saving people and building a small community, that is cool. But then it's just like everything else is just like, why? Everything else was done better in previous Assassin's Creed's. It is getting to the point that I may very well prefer Brotherhood over this. Which would be terrible, because I hate Brotherhood. 
Fuck off. Quit sending Terminators after me. God, this is so brain dead. Oh, uh, you at high notoriety. Me send enemy after you. Fuck off. Genuinely fuck off onto hell. Just such brain dead design. Yes, make enemies more aware of me if I get at high notoriety. Don't spawn them on me! That is the laziest bullshit design that you could ever do. Person who made that design decision, unless you were made to do it under like some kind of threat, like some stupid executive came up to you and was just like, I want it so player is punished if they get to high notoriety. And then they just wouldn't accept any logical, like, way of doing it to the point that you made it as a joke. Lol, I'm just going to spawn a Terminator super soldier on the, in a, on the player five feet back whenever they have high notoriety. And then the executive went like, yes, exactly that. Unless that is the exact kind of situation you are under, dear designer. Be gone from the game industry. You are not wanted here. Where the fuck is this box? I hear the twinkle twinkle shine. Oh, is it on the... Is it up there? Why are there invisible walls? Because, like, I'm trying to be, like, open-minded and kind of like, ah, oh, they're just designers, but, like, somebody had to think of that. Somebody had to go, I want this to be in the game. And then the game is just being brain dead. It's just like, hey, did you know you can uh, uh, change it? It's just like, yeah. No shit, motherfucker. Oh, it's because it's under here. I thought it was a weird puddle made by the weird graphics of this game. But yeah, I have no tolerance for people that are just like a designer that goes, I'm going to want this in the game. And then they put it in the game and nobody like spiked his food with something terrible to make his life evil and said, maybe it's a sign from God. And if you repent your terrible design decisions, this will stop. And then you do it after he stopped. Then uh, give him a sign from God by yourself. You didn't do that. You're a failure. So many people could have just slapped the guy in the mouth and said, you're dumb, your design decision is dumb, you're bad. Get out of here. And nobody did. This is terrible. Thank you. And they just spawn an attack dog. Like, I don't think, like, 90% of games just should not spawn enemies on top of the player, ever. Oh, but I know the variety. Yes, make it a pain to traverse cities. Don't just spawn motherfuckers on the player when they're out there doing shit. It's such bad design. This like the the Terminator angry guard squads of Assassin's Creed One are better than this because at least they make narrative sense and they're in cities. This motherfucker just literally spawned on me! Fuck off, you asshole game! Yeah, whoever made this decision, spawn Terminator Super Soldiers on you at High Notoriety. Be gone. The pits of hell will welcome you someday. 
Nobody will weep when your code is destroyed. Everyone will be happy. Somebody who knows the designer of this problem, make sure they never have the chance to do so again. Ship them off to Abu Dhabi Garfield style. Chris Pratt, get on it. Get some in-character action going. Some practice for your Garfield role. Because Guinea just, it makes no fucking sense. They're just always walking towards me. They spawn in a ton of super soldiers. Sometimes right on my ass. But it seems they just populate the roads with them. Singular guys walking towards me. Eternally. And they're like, eh, you need to uh, go to like a printer, find a town crier. It's just like, we are in the wilderness. They don't exist. Or at least they haven't been showing up on the goddamn minimap like they should. Game, are you fucking mad? What walnut was in charge of all the design of this? What absolute, like, coconut was in charge of all major gameplay design? May their phone number become useless from all the spam calls and texts of the universe converging upon them. It is the only justice. And again, I hate that I can't just climb down normally. It's just a painful experience to be like, hey, can I go down? No, you can't jump down like in all the other games. Like what, did some Cinema Sins bitch walk in? And they're like, it makes no sense that, like, uh, gathered leaves would be underneath a tree. And those gathered leaves would then break the fall of a man. String them up to a post in the office and laugh at them until they cry. Feed them nothing but water and bread. Because just like that alone, the fact that like one major conflict can just like make it an extreme pain to do anything. Why? Like again, yes, I understand. Consequences. For, like, high-profile actions. That makes sense. What doesn't make sense is just the game being rude about it. Why the fuck did you do that, you walnut? Connor is dangerously entering the territory of me not liking him purely based on the gameplay of his game. Plus, the, sadly, the voice actor is not... Is there no... Uh, I don't think that there's, like... That could be a leaf pile. But I don't trust this fucking game anymore. Once again, the game designer douchebag god could just be like, It makes no sense for that to be there. Just, like, completely not understanding what the fucking point of fun is in a video game. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense for Hay to be there. Uh, it may, logically, it shouldn't be there. It's just like, but the fun! It's just like, yeah, but the, log the logical sense, it shouldn't be there. Utter brain dead sheep man. With the swivelly eye and everything.
because I just want to play the game. And they put all these roadblocks in place of me playing the game. Because, like, if you want to make it, like, I can understand some of the things. Like, the counter problem. Yeah, sure, it makes sense. Like, four games in, you might want to go, hmm, the, the counter system is kind of dominating the game. Maybe we should try to invigorate the combat. Like, I have an idea. How about you encourage the player to uh, take on stealthy matters by making it so that countering is, like... Yeah, just make it so countering is more like uh, Shadows of Mordor, where it won't kill them, but it does a decent chunk of damage. So that the combat encounter is drawn out a bit. So it's less one-hit kill and more like... Oh, you, uh, like, the one-hit kills, like, hey, that, that that would actually be a thing. If you're, like, playing the game. And this, since it's an Assassin's Creed game, it's an Assassin game. The one-hit kills should come from stealth. Like, that makes sense. Stealth should be the one-hit kills. So if you get into active combat, it should take a bit longer, but it should be fun still. Just because open combat should be some level of punishment for failing, like, stealth, m combat will still be a major part of the game. Motherfucker, you do not know that I'm here. Fuck off. I saw the little arrow pointing towards me the moment I kind of entered his radius. And this guy turned around the moment. But yeah, it's just... I don't like that they didn't inform me, the player, of the altered counter system. Where some enemies are outright immune to some versions of counter and can only be damaged, basically by doing a specific kind of counter. That seems like important information to give to the player during a tutorial or something. Just throw, like, go back to the boat with Haytham, throw three enemies at me, and have Mr. Exposition on the side go like, ah, this guy is uh, big on his feet, maybe you can destabilize him. And then it'd be like, you can counter enemies and then throw them for a quick dance, and then be able to bash on them while on the ground. Huh, this guy is quick on his feet, but uh, he, he uh, is aware of his surroundings, but uh, has a loose grip on his weapon. And then you show, like, the stance that kind of character takes. And then you know how to do that. Like, come on. It's just maddening. We'll go get the treasure. And then I think we'll stop now that we're in Boston and safe from the goddamn Terminator British. We're safe from the British Terminators now. Because I just could not see or find any printers or criers or posters to do anything with. Out there in the fields of doom. Like, sure, I could fast travel. But, like, there are things to do in this game and I want to do them. But I just, I don't understand why they're just like, we're going to make the game worse in these ways. Yes, there is, like, within the realm of, like, gameplay... And, like, overall gameplay, you're like, hey, this is a stealth game, open combat. It should be kind of some level of punishment for failing stealth. But at the same goddamn time, it's still a game and should be fun. Especially because there's going to be mandatory you can't skip, you can't stealth this combat sections. So when it comes to those sections, the combat should be fun. But I just spent, like, the past what, 15 hours of this game 
not understanding a core principle of the counter system because it didn't god diddly damn tell me. Because I come from the era of good designed Assassin's Creeds. Like, at least Assassin's Creed Brotherhood didn't, like, it only really messed things up in the failings of trying to do new stuff. The new story didn't really work because it was kind of a middle chapter for both Ezio and Desmond. So it didn't really do all that much story-wise except kind of tie up the, the Borgia. There's nothing here for you. And like the bonus objectives in the missions themselves is kind of bad a lot of the time. Because they just like weren't well designed. But like so much is annoying in Assassin's Creed 3 so far. Oh, they see me. And then they shot their friend. See, so yeah, if they explained it like, hey, some people aren't, like, combat veterans, so a simple counter will take them down... And like, hey, some enemies aren't good on their feet, so they can be thrown around f to be smashed on the ground. And like, hey, some enemies are best disarmed. That would be interesting. But again, we just traded one form of kill everything counter for one form of kill everything counter. Technically, everything is new items here. So I guess I'll... Prepare to take on that fort next time we come here, but just... Yeah. Be gone, children. I don't want to shoot the dog. These are fearless children. I can't even <laughs> grab that guy. But can I shoot them? Huh. <laughs> I shoot the child, they just phase out for a bit. What are they even doing? They're like doing ninja dodges. Going hoot, 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 ha ha. The fuck's wrong with you? But yeah, just like... The more I play this game, it definitely feels like somebody came in and put too many chefs in the kitchen when it came to some of the game design. Why are you angry with me? Is it because I'm chasing this guy? Is that it? Or is it because you're British? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm incognito down in the bottom. You can see I don't have any notoriety things. The British just decided he's chasing that guy. Kill him. Which is mildly amusing. Again, kind of goes into my issue of there being no feedback a lot of the time in this. But hey! So long as it doesn't raise my notoriety, I don't think I care! But I do believe that that will be all Assassin's Creed 3 for now, since we've been going for three hours, mostly wandering around the wilderness, doing all the wilderness things, 
grabbing some feathers, chests, destroying a fort, gathering up all of the extra tree synchronization points. But, yeah, the more I play this game, the more just, like, I'm baffled by the design decisions. The fact that there's so many synchronization points that you can't just jump off of when that is just, like, definitive Assassin's Creed and just, like, one of the fun things about it. Oh, you synchronize with a point? Jump off that tall tower. Like, that's nice. That's fun. But then in this one, they make it a pain. Oh, you climb a natural tree. And then we're not going to put any, like, leaves around. You'll, you can't look down. You don't know which way to jump, if any at all. Maybe you want to climb down. Oops, the contextual button has sent you flying and you died anyway. Why? And again, just horribly baffled at the fact that we just have the same counter system. It's just worse. Because somebody probably went and said, Hey, it's kind of samey and simple that a single button does so much to counter in combat. And they're like, Hey, how about we make the counter system more interesting by giving you options to counter with? And then maybe make certain enemies like uh, prone to have weaknesses to those different kinds of counters. And then all you have to do is disarm every single motherfucker. Who knows, maybe there's a single guy out there who's like, aha, you tried to disarm me, but you cannot disarm me, in which case you have to throw him to the ground. But then that just becomes annoying because so many of these guys kind of look the same, except for Kilt Man with the axe. Like, I don't know. Again, we don't even see the people's health. As if they're basic Uruks from Shadow of Mordor. It just, it bothers me. A lot of this bothers me. And I just, I don't know why they would design it like this. Assassin's Creed 1, like, yeah, to put it into perspective, Assassin's Creed 1 is better than all of this so far. Because, like, so far, the story feels a bit rushed here. We're not really getting to know Connor all that much. It's just, we get to a point, things happen, skip forward, is what it seems to be again and again and again. We're not allowed to sit and, like, ah, get to know him. And it just, it feels weird. And it also kind of feels like they're trying to recreate Ezio in some places, but they're just failing. It just kind of bothersome. It's kind of bothersome. It definitely, it almost feels like... A lot of the design decisions came from, like, non-Assassin's Creed designers, in a way. Because, like, Assassin, like as much as I rag on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, it still felt like an Assassin's Creed game. All the additions still felt Assassin's Creed-y. The issues arose from them trying to do new things in Assassin's Creed. It just like here it just feels like they added on a bunch of non Assassin's Creed things like crafting probably shouldn't be in Assassin's Creed. Like the homestead crafting stuff feels weird. The hunting kind of feels weird and unnecessary. So far the only real Assassin's Creed feeling thing that's been added dude, you walked into me. The only real thing that feels like it was Assassin's Creed design is the nature climbing. The nature climbing is cool. But it's probably not really going to be super utilized all that much. It's just an extension on the contextual climbing system. Yeah, just like they changed so much for so for like no reason and didn't really feel like it, they add anything tangible to an Assassin's Creed game, almost. Blah blah blah. It's just so funny that the more Assassin's Creed games that I play, the more I just go, yeah, the first Assassin's Creed is probably above this purely because it doesn't fail in places. 
Sure, I don't care about gathering up the flags in Assassin's Creed 1 or hunting down all of the Super Templars in Assassin's Creed 1, but those are just generic collectible things that do nothing. So you can ignore them. You play a specific kind of, like, bonus mission to try and, like, uh, do all of the assassination preparation missions. If you don't like one, you can just ignore it for the rest of the game. Like, this Assassin's Creed feels meandering with a bunch of irrelevant things tacked on that don't really feel like they help the game all that much. Whereas at least with Assassin's Creed 1, it was simple, it was functional. Sure, there were a few weird things here or there, but at the end of the day... Those are small, tiny footnotes that ultimately do not matter to the whole of the game. Whereas so many other Assassin's Creeds now have these big red flags that define them in my mind. Assassin's Creed 2 has chapters, I think, 12 and 13 or 13 and 14. The bad DLC bonus chapters that really should have been in the base game anyway and were obviously held, like, helmed like by a secondary design team and were added in later. Those were terrible. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had terrible things about it. Revelations was pretty good. I don't remember being super annoyed at Revelations in hindsight. But so far this... It's hard to judge. It's not as bad as Memory Sequence 13 in Assassin's Creed 2. I don't think many things will get as bad as Memory Sequence 13 in Assassin's Creed 2. But, like, design-wise, this is getting up there with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The story isn't super engaging so far because they just keep bouncing around a lot, not really focusing on all that much. They do a thing, don't really give the characters time to breathe, the performances are kind of wonky, and then just uh, five years pass or what it feels like. There's no real build-up to things. Who knows, maybe that'll change once we get to actually assassinating the Templars. Who knows, maybe things will change and pick up and actually start to feel cohesive. The, the naval stuff was interesting, aside from that weird cycle we got locked in where the enemy fired faster than me and there was no real feedback to, like, bracing. It was weird, but overall, the naval combat seems interesting, and next time I should probably do some naval missions. Yeah, just overall, it's a very mixed bag, this game. It also doesn't help that this is the wonky remaster, but then apparently also... Oh yeah, I don't think I talked about it! Uh, off screen, I went back and did uh, the bonus objectives for some of the memory sequences. The one where we play as Haytham and assassinate that Templar guy, and the bonus objective that I missed was uh, explode the powder barrels, the powder carts. That one was terrible. <laughs> and apparently, it's been terrible since the original release of Assassin's Creed 3. They made a remaster of this game and they didn't fix one of the prominent bonus objective issues. Ah, it took me multiple restarts to finally figure out a system of, like, making the game actually contextually shoot the powder peg, the powder kegs. It was so bothersome. I don't even know what I get if I do the bonus objectives in this game. I don't think anything's happened. I don't think it's told me. But so far, the majority of the bonus objectives haven't been terrible except for the powder cart one. That I missed entirely on my first playthrough and was relegated to replaying that mission off stream. At least I think it was off stream because it was very annoying. Yeah. Things are wonky. They're not super terrible, but oh, does it bother. We'll have to see how bothering bothersome it gets later on. But yes, 
Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, the edited and scripted content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I'm going to try and make content for, as I've always said for this past year, but I think I even said it back in the last year, too. Like, I keep meaning to, but brain and anxiety, bleh. But, yes. Edited content, Neon Icy Wings, the YouTube channel. If you want gaming content that is like live streams and Let's Plays, then Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel, is your desired location. So you can watch me play games live or catch up on the live streams of past, like the Mass Effect trilogy and Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Undertale and things like that. If you prefer to watch me play on uh, Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, and so I dual stream to YouTube and Twitch because that is allowed, haha. -ha. And then, pa pa pa. I also do lots of drawing that you can see me post to various art sites. And links to all of those art sites, as well as my Twitch and YouTubes, can be found in my link tree. It should be linktr.ee neon icy wings. Uh, well, dot .ee slash neon icy wings. And a direct link to that link tree can be found in. All of the descriptions, bios, and link places of the various internets. So if you want to catch me posting art on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, all over the place, you can. And if you want to read some of the stories I've doth wrote, you can also find links to that there. As well as a link to my Patreon. So if you feel kind, you can throw a dollary do or two my way to help me survive the dark evils of the universe. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to catch you dudes next time. Bye-bye.